What's up guys? Welcome back to a Kit Bass Customs video. In this one I'm doing a minor update to this custom Hulk Buster we got here. Um I had a comment in my last video on this figure about uh time lapse and how they're or what is he what did he say? Uh, uh out uh, overdrawn process. Like he pretty much was saying, like, why do I do it? in these custom videos and and um i just wanted to address that because um i don't know if anybody else would see these and have that same concern but the reason i do them is because um painting these little pieces like painting all of this was it's pretty tedious work and um this is all primed right now i haven't painted this yet but i am going to get around to it for the next video uh, painting these pieces is a really tedious process and I know you guys don't want to sit on this platform for two hours or 45 minutes or 50, 60 minutes just watching me paint toys. Like, I mean, I know you guys don't have a problem with it, but I know you guys do have lives and there's other things you guys want to do besides sit on this app all day. So um, to address the time lapse thing, I do my time lapses because um, it helps me shorten the length of my videos. Like, I know... Um, for when I did this one, the video was 45 minutes long and not only does it help me shorten the length of the video, but it also helps me show you guys my process, um, without taking too much of your time. Um, cause I know you guys want to get back to your regular lives and whatnot. YouTube is not, I'm not here to take up all your time. I appreciate every single view, even if it's a minute, two second view. I appreciate just the click through just to, just to see what I'm all about. But, um, I just wanted to get like like get with you guys and see how you guys felt about the time lapse thing. Um, I know it can be uh, it can be tedious. Like painting these pieces can be really tedious, and I don't I don't want you guys to sit through me just painting little things on these figures. I rather um, I would rather show you guys in a sped up video that way you guys can see like my process and how everything's going down without feeling left out. Because that's you know, that's one thing I hate when I watch reviewers. When I watch YouTubers and they like they do a process and they do a step and they skip it, they skip parts of it and they don't tell you how they did things and how things went down. So that's pretty much why I do my time lapse videos. I want you guys to see the entire process. Um, for this one though, since I will be priming and painting the gold, I will. Uh, I'll just be only thing I'll do off camera for this one is prime. I'm just gonna prime it off camera. Um, just to make it a little go by a little bit quicker so I won't have to be like on camera for an hour uh just recording but um yeah pretty much everything else after the primer will be I'll be recording and showing you guys um I hope you guys are liking this liking this so far um I'm really excited to get this one done for you cuz um my first Hulkbuster I painted I loved it um it was really dope um I actually well, I'm going to put some pictures in this video so you guys can see it out to scroll through and find the pictures but um, I'll put some pictures in this one so you guys can see uh, what that one looked like because it came out pretty sick for what I did and I didn't do much and it was like one of my first full repaints but the the way I did it was crazy because it was I did it first I painted with enamel and then I painted it with um I went back got all the enamel off and then painted it with uh, acrylic it was pretty crazy but uh right here I wanted to show you guys the gold I don't know if it's, if it's translating can I get that to focus or no usually works with the youtubers do right focus no it won't focus for me one second Let's see if i can get oh it's on manual focus no wonder there we go um that gold right there is the gold i'll be using it's a little pale for my liking so i'm gonna have to try some stuff i do like i do like the gold kind of the gold that was on the figure, but this, okay, you can't even see it on this leg because I primed it already. The gold on here is too drab for me. I want it to be more. So what I'll do is, since I already painted this one, I'll just paint the other leg with the gold hits and the silver. And then I'll go in here and uh, paint this gold. And if I can get my gold to match this one, I won't repaint the rest of it. But I will be painting like in the joints, like in here be silver. Uh, all of these little hits to be silver. This I'm going to paint this silver. And um, pretty much all the little details. And I'm using a reference picture this time for the guy who told me about that last time. I already knew about it. But usually, I um, it, like a straight repaint like the Gambit, I usually won't have to because that's, that's basically the same. It's basically the same thing on, on the whole figure, the whole custom. So something like this, though, 
it kind of changes with every picture you see because you'll see some pictures where the Hulk Buster is not dirty. Like when he first makes it, like when he first comes together as the Hulk Buster, you'll see pictures like that where he's like pristine, but then you'll see other pictures of him and he'll be fighting and he'll have like, uh, like I know for a fact he has some scratches right here and just some battle damage and stuff. So, um, that's the, that's the reason I use a reference picture. I use the hot toy as a reference because it's, to me, the hot toy is a good mixture of both. It's like, as soon as he lands, a little bit of fighting, he's a little scuffed up and scraped up a little bit. He's dirty in the right place. He's like oily dirty. So that's just the look I like. So, um, I'm using the hot toy as reference, as a reference picture. And, I'm um, going from there. Pretty much I'm going to paint this whole thing though. I'll be painting this whole thing, the, the gold and the silver hits. And then I'll be painting these silver too. Because on the actual Hulkbuster, his hips are silver. Uh, the, like I said, these and all those little details. And I'll put a wash on it and then go from there. And then once I do the wash and everything and see how that looks, and that should be good to go. But I do like the gold on it, so I'm not planning on Because I don't know why this Model Masters gold is so pale. But if you compare it, if you can see that, probably not because the lighting's bad right there. But if you can see the difference in the gold... Um, this is a lot brighter than this one, and I don't, I don't know, I don't know why my gold's coming out like that. I might have to retry it, but yeah, just a minor update for you guys, so you guys know where the where the where my head is wrapped around this custom. Um, and for the guy who doesn't like time lapses, uh, we'll see what happens. I like doing time lapses. I think they're fun. I think they help get you guys in and out. You know, 10, 13 minutes, and then you can skip around. Maybe I'll just put the time codes in so you guys can skip around and figure out what part of the video you want to see. But as far as it goes, um, we'll see how the comments go on this one for the time lapse. I like doing time lapses. I like watching time lapses. Gets you in and out, and it just doesn't waste all your time. Like, I've seen two-hour videos, and I've seen 10-minute videos on the same thing with, with different variances and speed on the video. And I prefer a two-minute or 10-minute video versus a two-hour video. But, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this one so far. Um... Just a little minor update. I will have an, uh, uh, another video coming out once I see how you guys feel about the time lapse thing. So uh, get in the comments and let me know what you think. Check my Instagram. It's in the description. The Facebook page will be in the description as well. Thanks for watching.